Got here, we didn't know what it was gonna be like when we got here. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. His biggest challenge was holding himself up and getting stronger. He couldn't sit up, he couldn't hold his head up, he couldn't um, do really anything for himself. He had no muscle left. His, with the brain injury, he had no idea how to use those muscles anymore. Fractured skull, fractured ribs, broken nose. All the bones in his neck were broken. His collarbone was broken in three pieces. He had a TBI. The neck surgeon said, if he was my son, I would take him to Craig. Craig, to me, is, is hope. They always seem to be able to pull a little bit more out of him many opportunities where he could have thrown in the towel and and instead he would just do the exact opposite. Q's never gave up. Going for it. All right. Well, you know you could do it. Continue to amaze us and continue to push and continue to fight. There's that attitude, though. He's going to get it done. We would always set those weekly goals. You would crush them by Monday or Tuesday. Wes is a good physical therapist, and he's really nice. And he didn't like push me that hard, but he kept me on a goal, and he did push me. You almost feel like you're a part of the family a little bit. You know, you share in those successes. You share in those days where, where things are tough. You build re you know, relationships with these people. You fall in love with them. So I am honored to be a part of Q's journey um, at a time where things were probably going to be pretty rough. These people here work with broken bodies all day long, every day. Nice and tall, big step with the right. They just loved him enough to let him do what he could do and maybe one step more. Q, you're doing a great job. Developing that trust and that relationship with them takes it a step farther. I think it, it, it puts me in the boat on that journey with them. They don't just care about the patient, they care about the families too. Yeah, I like your shirt too. You look good in it too. It takes a special kind of person, a brave person to get up every day and come here and see these broken bodies and know that some are gonna heal good and some are not gonna heal so well and um, they just keep fighting for you. I call them the A-team because they're all, you know, awesome. And I know that everyone in Craig is the A-team, but there are 18. Absolutely.